you know, this is my, these are possible blog posts. So it's clipped. It's all okay. possible ideas. And, and I go through it sometimes I, I, if I'm in the mood. And what happens is, you know, as soon as you have, you, you fill your head up with a lot of possibilities, yes. I just, and then, and then I, I get a title. I put a title on the top of the page. It's a blank page in Word, blank, uh, a, a, a title, and I start writing. And very rarely do I write and stop. Usually that's my blog post. Sometimes I, because um, the thing is, John Carlton says, you know, once you have a, a, an inkling of an idea of what you want to write about and you get a title down and you start writing, he says in most cases, and in his case more than me, because he's a real copywriter, he says, you're off to the races, he says, because you're, you're, you're on a path to write something. So I guess yeah. to answer your question, I think you have to have, I, I suggest that you have the same time every week that you're going to write it. So okay. it's, it's got to be, a, it's got to be blocked out time, nothing else, but I'm writing my blog. Now I'll write for a while and then I'll take a, take a break, check my email just to get my head out of it. Then I come back and I'm, 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 then I'm, then I'm, then I'm on fire usually because I'm mm -hmm. rewriting and then I'm honing the blog post. And of course you see it at the, you, you've seen them. So I, they're still not perfect when they go out, but at least they're honed to some extent. And um, so th having, having time, um, walk around all the time, get ideas. Even if it's not an idea for this week, it could be an idea for next week or next month or even next year. And have some, you know, think about what's happening in the world, what's happening on the calendar. 